I can't respect. I'm the biggest player of all time. Don't ever fuck with me because I'm Mr. Big, Mr. Big. Transmission flashing. So it won't go in gear. Not flashing. Obviously, it's electrical. Fix, and here we go. We placed the harness to start with, which I had problems with this harness for quite a while, and as you can see, um, wasn't the greatest. But um, replace the harness. Harness number right, part number right there, two zero nine four two nine one seven. It's a Volvo part number. Also went ahead and replaced the speed sensor. Part number, as you can see, right there, forty-three dollars. Harness was two hundred and two dollars. This was two hundred and twenty-three dollars. Part number is this is an actuator. This is actually what did the trick here. Five five six one eight zero four. It's the part number, and pretty simple. It was four bolts sitting on top of the back of the trans. Really easy to do. Actually did it myself, and I'm not mechanically inclined. Got up in the air and took most of the bolts off. Drain your air tank completely. Uh, check your filters, but basically this was what was causing a problem. It's the actuator 
Um, I was getting the cold, as you remember, low range actuator. And this was the culprit right here. As the shade tree mechanic of mine politely pointed out. And this was the problem. So again, to go through it, I replaced the wire in the harness. Part number right there. That didn't do it. I did have problems with this wiring harness to begin with for years and years. So it was, it was about time for it to go anyway. Then I replaced this part number right here. That which is the actuator sits on the, if the yoke's right here, it sits on the upper right hand corner of the transmission. Four bolts, boom, 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 boom. Come right out, take these caps off, pop it in, four bolts, plug it in. Real simple, you could do it on the side of the road like my mechanic says. And um, I just replaced the speed sensor just cause um, was back there and um, trucks running fine again. Hope this helps somebody out cause it gave me hell.